All right, dear Lost and Live, coming to you from Southern California here. Happy uh, April 4th, 2017. It's 4.31 p.m. in the afternoon. This is Daryl Lawson Live. I'm here three times a day, twice live on Facebook Live with a recap on YouTube as well on the top stories. Here's uh, a quick video I want to do on uh, World War III. Listen, the New World Order is panicking. The Vatican-run New World Order is panicking. They need a World War III to get things back on track in their, in their minds. And as I'm reading today's headlines, I'm noticing that there's a pattern here, whether it's uh, China or Russia or North Korea or even the UK Brexit. The New World Order is looking for some kind of spark to bring about World War III. Be why? Because world wars are beneficial to the secret societies, to the, to the New World Order. What? Depopulation, reorganization, putting people back in fear, uh, all the above. Uh, countries that uh, aren't in war, they want to bring them in war because what? Chaos. Chaos and confusion and death and mayhem. Oh, they love to operate in that kind of uh, environment. Jesus said in the last days there'll be wars and rumors of wars everywhere, right? Famines and pestilence and earthquakes. They love that kind of environment to push forward the new world order. You know what environment Jesus likes? Jesus likes peace. <laughs> She said, first of all, pray for those in authority, the kings, presidents, the governments, that we may lead the peaceful and quiet lives, that we may have peace on the earth, uh, peace and goodwill to everyone. Yeah, that's how Jesus operates. Jesus operates through love and compassion and peace and joy <laughs> and life. Jesus came to give us life and life abundantly, but the New World Order hates that. They only want the global elitist, the, the handful of people having everything everybody else starve. They like to bring about the wars and manipulations of economies and destroy economies and destroy people. Yeah, uh, like dominoes. So, uh, I'm noticing a pattern you know, in 2017 here, a huge pattern, a Vatican Jesuit New World Order pattern of a, a panic, a a panic pattern, a pattern of panic, a, a, they're looking for a spark to start World War III. And they'll do, hey, they'll have it. They don't care how it happens. They just want it to happen. Hey, uh, let's do something in the South China Sea, man. Let's do something with uh, China and Japan. Yeah. You know, let's do something with Putin. Let's get him riled up. Let's do a subway bombing over there. Oh, what about North Korea? Oh, North Korea. You know, it was ticked off because uh, John McCain said something. Something. North Korea is threatening to, you know, to annihilate the U.S. and other countries, you know, with atomic weapons, nuclear weapons, whatever. I look at the, uh, there's, uh, there's uh, Spain and the U.K. are going at it there over Gibraltar waters and, and uh, property over there. Let me look, let's take a look first at uh, CNBC.com. The good news is, is that we have a president, uh, Trump, who's not a warmonger, who's not part of the secret societies. President Trump, thank God, thank you, Jesus, is not part of the New World Order, and he doesn't want to go to war. He wants to bring the troops back. He's been hanging around with Rand Paul. <laughs> I love it. And yesterday, the headlines uh, were all over saying that Trump is undoing Everything Obama did. Oh, love it. Obama was a warmonger. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's a joke that Barack Insane Obama got a Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah, okay, here. Here's one. Uh, China in transition. Don't forget the president of China is meeting Trump in Florida this week, which is great because we need to diffuse any kind of tensions between the superpowers. Uh, yesterday, Trump also called Putin and gave his condolences because of the subway bombing there in Russia. Okay, let's read about China first. Military nightmare scenario. Here's one brewing in the East China Sea. This has been going on, but hey, New World Order doesn't care how the fire starts. Just spark it, baby. Okinawa, while the world watches mounting military tensions in the South China Sea. Another more ominous situation is brewing in the East China Sea. That could be the trigger point. Here's that fire. For a major war uh -oh, between the superpowers, at the heart of the tensions are eight uninhabited islands controlled by Japan. 
that are close to that are close to important shipping lanes, rich fishing grounds, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, potential oil and gas reserves. China contests Japan's claims. Uh, well, they're fighting. China disagrees with Japan's claim and and is escalating its military activity in Japan airspace. In response, Japan has been doubling its F-15 jet intercepts, and they're both building up building up their military. Situation increases the risk of an accidental co- confrontation. An accidental World War III. You know, world wars aren't accidental. They're fabricated. You know that, right? Yeah. Just like World War II, Vietnam, World War I. I mean, wow. The situation increases the risk of accidental confrontation and could draw other countries, surprise, surprise, like the U.S. into a conflict. It's, you, know, you don't want to get into war with China. You don't want to get into war with uh, Russia. Thank God that this week, I don't think it's a coincidence, every time the New World Order tries to make a move, Jesus checkmates them. So it's, it's perfect timing that Trump is meeting with uh, President Jinping this week. Yeah, in uh, Trump's mansion there in Florida. Love it. Could draw other countries like the U.S. into a conflict. No, 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 no. It's a topic Trump will likely bring up with the Chinese president. Xi Jinping at his Mar-a-Lago, Mar-a-Lago estate this weekend. It is gorgeous. Take a look at the house that Trump has uh, in Florida. Wow, that's only one of his houses. And listen, that's going to do that. That's great for negotiating. When foreign leaders see the U.S. President Trump being such a smart businessman and a smart person, he, he's got respect around the world. Obama never had respect. Nobody ever really took Obama seriously. The only reason they listened to Obama, and most didn't, was because he happened to be U.S. president. But most foreign uh, uh, dealings, foreigners, uh, foreign countries, dignitaries, they didn't like dealing with Obama. Obama was a doofus. He's the Antichrist, by the way. Anyways, from the departure lounge at uh, Naha International Airport on the Japanese island of Okinawa, passengers can easily see what's going on. Anyways, right there at F-15 fighters. Hotspot. It's imperative. It's strategic that Trump meets in this week. I think it's I think it's a miracle that this is the time that Trump is meeting with the president of China. This is perfect. Don't listen. You know, uh, the, the leaders of, of the nation shouldn't listen to the media. They should meet face to face. It's the way to, to have these things done. Yeah. And I think that it's going to be it should be successful. I hope it is. I think it should be. President of China meeting with Trump this week. I think it's going to be great. I think this is what they need to do. Trump need. I've been saying this for a while. Trump needs to meet with the all the foreign uh, uh, dignitaries, uh, governments. Meet with China. Meet with Russia, w- and bring Russia uh, and uh, together uh, have have meetings with them both. Russia and China. Russia and Iran. Russia and and Syria. Have them all together, and don't listen to the New World Order fake news. Uh, on what's really going on with other countries, because it's a CIA, Vatican, Jesuit disinformation campaign. All right. All right, I could go on with this article, but uh, rising tensions, uh, they've re- uh, they're uh, increasing their intrusions into our territorial sea space. <laughs> Japanese Ministry of Defense is that, right? I mean, these guys are so closely related. The Japanese and the Chinese are like, really almost on the same family tree branches, really. It's a demon that causes countries to fight each other. Yeah, it's racism, really. It's divide and conquer. That's how the New World Order operates. All right, kind of interesting. It's, you know, territory, my land, my territory, my islands. Chill out. The earth is big. Relax. No, no need for a war. Then you look at uh, yesterday, uh, the Russian attack in the subway. I mean, what's going on with that? Is that timing? I think the New World Order is behind it. The Vatican Jesuit New World Order is behind the bombing in Russia. They're trying to spark some kind of, uh, of uh, World War Three here. Get the bear, get the Russian bear angry. Hope he attacks, right? Interesting article right here from Express UK. Was Putin target of the Russia attack. Wow. The St. Petersburg bomb may be linked. What? Trump 
by the way, did call Putin and spoke on the phone about the subway attack and gave his condolence. Perfect. It's need to do. Get these leaders together and avert war. War is not beneficial to any country except the New World Order. Bringing everybody in submission through wars and rumors of wars, earthquakes and pestilence and disease. Freaks. Explosion in St. Petersburg, Russia kills 11. Vladimir, Vladimir Putin visits the memorial site. How will Putin respond to St. Petersburg subway blast? Putin should be smart enough and is patient enough to find out who's behind this. Now listen, uh, is it any mystery that Russia has been blamed for everything under the sun? Again, trying to provoke Russia into a response. They want a World War III. Russia has maintained her composure, Putin and Russia, and uh, are fighting the New World Order on different fronts. Why do you think Russia went into Syria and around Syria to fight ISIS? Because ISIS is part of the New World Order mercenaries that are paid by the Vatican, the Jesuits, the CIA. So instead of having a war, Ru Russia says, we're going to go into Syria and we're going to fight and blow up ISIS. We've got to blow up something. Let's blow up ISIS. You know, uh, Russia is very intelligent when it comes to getting back at the New World Order. Instead of, falling in, instead of Putin and Russia falling into the Vatican's traps, Putin stays away from their traps and still fights the New World Order. Love it! And by Trump becoming U.S. president, it throws a monkey wrench into the New World Order's gears. Again, was Putin target of Russian attack? Well, that, that uh, attack there in, uh, in London was possibly an attack against uh, the Prime Minister of the U.K., Theresa May. I think so, yeah. They don't like her because she's anti-EU. Brexit, right? Yeah. And then you look at uh, North Korea. There are uh, generals. Well, here's one. Ex-Defense Chief Carter says first strike against North Korea should be on the table. Chill out, everybody. Does everything have to be bombs and blowing up uh, other countries? Listen, I don't think we want a Korean, another Korean war here. Three ways Trump could go it alone on North Korea. Here's another one. Uh, North Korean defector says Kim Jong-un would launch nuclear weapons first strike. They want a World War III. And you know, North Korea is just a pawn of the Vatican, just like uh, Cuba is a pawn of the Vatican. China used to be a full pawn of the Vatican and pulled away. Russia used to be a full pawn of the Vatican and Russia pulled away. The BRIC nations are pulling away from the Vatican. And now Trump, that he's president of the U.S., is hurting the beast New World Order system. And so you have all these articles the last couple of weeks. North Korean defector Kim Jong-un would launch nuclear weapons first strike. We must. Oh. Whoa, chill out. Get together with China and Russia and talk about what's going on here. Get, get you know, let, let, South, get, you know, let South Korea and, and you guys get together in, in a meeting and deal with it. I don't, think, I don't think the U.S. needs to get involved with North Korea. Let Russia deal with North Korea. Let, this, let, this, let, the, let the South Korea deal with North Korea. South Korea has a great military. The U.S. shouldn't be involved because the Vatican would love to suck in Trump into a quagmire Vietnam situation to hurt his, uh, you know, to bog, bog, bog down Trump and not doing any more damage against the New World Order, but the New World Order doing damage against Trump. Trump does not need to be brought into a war. A war. Another Vietnam, another World War II. No! No, another Korean War? No. This is ridiculous. And then uh, it's, it's pattern after pattern. Another one right here. Uh, Spanish Navy ship illegally enters UK waters in Gibraltar after Brexit war threat. Blah, 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 blah. Right? Foreign Office defends Navy for ordering Spanish warship out of Gibraltar waters. What? What's going on here? Brexit war threat? Listen, the Vatican, the, e the, the EU, they're freaking out. Oh, we, we're losing uh, uh, the UK. Now, if Le Pen gets in in France, they may also have a Frexit. So it's unraveling. The EU is unraveling, which is good. There's another one. Why is Gibraltar caught in the middle of a Brexit debate? 
Brexit in Gibraltar. May, Theresa May, UK Prime Minister, laughs off Spain war talk. What are they trying to do? Britain will not let Spain use Brexit to, uh, Brexit to bully the people of Gibraltar. They're just looking for a little spark here. The real reason Spain is using Gibraltar as a Brexit bargaining chip. Spain tells UK to calm down over Gibraltar Brexit war threats. So, oh, that wouldn't cause... Hey, it, 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 it's amazing what a little spark can do. And, and if you look at the headlines, it's like, it's, if it, it's, it's one thing after another. And I think that our prayer, those born-again spirit-filled people, our prayers need to be focused in praying against uh, the demons, the fallen angels that are trying to start a World War III. I think it's very clear that with the prayers of God's people, born-again spirit-filled people in these last days, the great resistance against the New World Order is happening right now and will continue to, to, to happen until the next rapture in which uh, the Great Tribulation will come right after that. So it's our job, it's your job, it's my job, it's the born-again, spirit, spiritful people's jobs on the earth to pray uh, on the earth against the New World Order, their plans on a daily basis. Father, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Last time I checked, there's not war in heaven. So God doesn't want war on the earth. Very little wars have gone on in history that have been God-ordained. Most of it is caused by the fallen angels and demon spirits that like to kill people and steal and rape nations. Yeah. Oh, love it. There are times for war, but it's not every day, 365 days, every year, all the time. It's ridiculous. There's a time for war, not every day. But the New World Order likes war all the time, and these wars are not for democracy of the past. They're not for uh, freedom. They're for a Vatican, EU, UN, NATO, secret society agenda to enslave the planet into a demonic one world government and one world currency, one world religion that is demonic. And uh, like I mentioned yesterday, I have uh, nearly 1,500 videos. Microchip implants everywhere. Is that the mark of the beast? I did that April 3rd yesterday, 2017 at 5.17 p.m. Uh, listen, the, the, the New World Order wants to implement the mark of the beast. But they can't if we get in their way. I believe the resistance against the New World Order is the strongest now that's ever been and will continue until the next rapture. As long as you and I continue to pray and obey in these last days in the name of Jesus. Yeah, all right. So it's your job, my job to be prayer warriors. Yeah. So whether it's uh, China... Uh, Japan, Putin, Russia, try to pull them in, North Korea, UK, Brexit, Frexit. <laughs> we are not going to allow the Antichrist, the false prophet, the Vatican to have their way. No way. We got to get in their way. We got to resist them. We are the great resistance in Jesus in these last days until we're taken out of the way in the next great rapture. All right. Uh, I'm telling you, watch my videos. Uh, Jesus said right here, I was just reading this a few minutes ago on my live show on Facebook Live. Uh, Matthew 26 is amazing, right? Jesus said in Matthew 26, 53, he said, don't you think that I can now pray, I can pray to my Father and he shall give me more than 12 legions of angels. I mean, we got to be praying that every day. Lord, send your angels against the fallen angels to push them back. For every evil angel, there's two good angels, by the way. Yeah, it's two to one ratio. I love it. Jesus said in Matthew 26, 41, watch and pray. That's our job. That you enter not into war, into temptation and destruction. The spirit, the heart is willing, but the flesh is weak. I'm telling you. Jesus said to watch and pray in order to push back the darkness, push back the new world order. Oh, keep World War Three from happening. It's your job, and it's my job in these last days. All right. Uh, go to DarylLawson.com and check out all my videos. Like I said, 1,492 videos as of today with hundreds of new videos as well on Facebook uh, that I do on Facebook Live every day, twice a day, actually, live programming. 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. every day, Monday through Friday, and even Sunday mornings, 10 a.m. DarylLawson.com will have the information on all a lot, and a lot more, I mean. 
so I'll see you online, and I'll see you in my next show. All right, Daryl Lawson, live signing off. Don't forget to go to my website, DarylLawson.com, and I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. I love you. Bye for now.